Hi everybody, my name is Eliza Stedman and I am going to be doing a review on All the Beautiful Strangers by Elizabeth Lithoff. Um, this book is set in contemporary times. It's in uh, set in New England, so if you like to read about places that you know and understand, um, Boston is mentioned, um, and a bunch of other places that you probably have um, a knowledge of. But this book is about Grace Fairchild. Um, she goes to a prestigious private school. Um, she's a legacy there, which means that her family members have also gone there. It's very elite. Um, the story centers around her acceptance into a um, very secretive, very cult-like, um, fraternity type club that the school um, calls the A's that you have to be enlisted by by other upperclassmen. Um, throughout her journey or her initiation process into the A's, she starts to kind of uncover secrets and mysteries surrounding her family. Um, you find out that her mother has gone missing and it's something that she does not talk about, but her mysterious disappearance is something that the family doesn't know much about. Um, Throughout the story, Grace learns more about her family history and the secrets that um, have been kept both at her um, boarding school but also through her family's uh, journey and about her mother and things that she didn't know before. Um, the story is really relatable. A lot of the characters um, might be people that you would find in your everyday life. They um, experience things like heartbreak and mistrust and success and failures. Um, Grace goes through a lot of uh, challenging times in her life that make her really relatable to the reader. Um, another nice thing about this book is that there's a lot of really interesting twists and mysterious things that you didn't really know were going to happen. So if you like a little bit of thrill and mystery to your books, then this one's going to be for you especially with something that you're going to be able to understand. Um, another thing to note about this book is it's told through multiple perspectives or multiple POVs. So you hear Grace is the primary narrator, she primarily tells the story, but you hear bits and pieces and flashbacks from uh, other people in her life, her mother um, from back when she was a young girl, her father when he was in school at her private school. So you kind of get a really well-crafted um, point of view or situation from all the characters. Um, if you are into kind of a juicy, uh, romantic, mystery thriller, then this book is going to be for you and you're going to be really interested in the plot twist at the end and you're definitely going to be on the edge of your seat trying to figure out what happened to Grace's mom and what's going to happen with Grace and the A's. Happy reading.